Over the years, the medical field has changed in many ways, but the intensity and effort required from the nursing staff is still an ongoing challenge. One of the continuing challenges for the nursing profession is providing care around the clock. Since illness and injuries occur at any time of the day or night, society needs nursing services 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But for most nurses, shift work and long work hours are difficult. Working three 12-hour shifts can be really stressful and it can really take a lot out of you. There are times where I drove home and don't even remember going past the stop sign. I think my mind is just so tired that I don't remember going past a certain point. Um, so it's very difficult because your tank only has so much gas in it. And we often are running on very little gas. And if you don't take time to refill it, it, it goes empty. Dr. Edward Hitchcock is a NIOSH research psychologist who studies effects of work hours and sleep on health and safety. There's currently a lot of scientific evidence that shows that shift work and long hours of work are associated with significant health and safety risks. Scientists believe these risks occur due to disruptions in sleep and circadian rhythms associated with these demanding schedules and strains on social life. The human body cannot naturally adjust to sleeping during the day or at irregular hours and consequently many shift workers do not get the seven to eight hours of good quality restorative sleep that most of us need. Tired nurses are potentially at risk for patient care errors and also are at risk for vehicle crashes on their way home after work, endangering not only themselves but others. You are about to hear from several nurses who were willing to share their personal experience regarding these challenges. When you work days, you work with all the therapists and you work with the various doctors and a whole bunch of nurses. I work with a staff of a total of six or seven people. And so that, those are the only nurses I see. So it's, it's a problem. It's a real problem maintaining those social contacts. We're social animals. We need that. Sometimes people um, have trouble on night shift, especially driving home after work. And there's one girl that has her husband pick her up, you know, like especially on the weekend when he's off and is able to do that. But I had to rotate the nights for a short time, and oh, it was awful. About three or four in the morning, I'd have to keep walking, you know, and make sure I'd eat certain things, you know, to, um, you know, just keep myself awake till then the end of the shift then you'd get you know a little spurt of energy to finish up from six to seven and then driving home there were quite a few times I felt like I was going to fall asleep you know and one time I was heading over the I-75 bridge to Kentucky and there was a Mack truck in the left lane I was in the right lane I felt my eyes start going around and, you know I thought oh I'm going to die you know so then you kind of shake yourself you know and make yourself wake up you know so that you can you know get home safely but it's kind of scary you know I mean there there was somebody on the News that I think the girl fell asleep at the wheel and it was really sad to hear she had worked night shift as a nurse you know so a couple of things that have really influenced me and have brought to light how how demanding this job can be and how dangerous this job can be my own personal experience as well as that of a colleague I worked with a nurse um, who worked in labor and delivery, who had small children and a husband and, and had on the surface what looked like good support system, who worked a very demanding schedule. She worked nights so that she could be available to her children during the day, not allowing for that time to really rest. Um, she, on her way home from a night shift, being very tired, fell asleep and tragically was killed in a car accident. I got a speeding ticket one time going home. Um, I had made arrangements. I had to be home at 5.30 in the morning. Normally I would be driving home at 7 or 7.30 when it was daylight. And I was leaving the hospital 
to get home in a hurry so that my husband could leave and do what he needed to do so that the kids didn't have to be disrupted. And um, got a speeding ticket. Didn't realize that I was going 55 miles an hour in a 25. Okay, that's significant. And I uh, felt very um, alarmed. You know, didn't try to talk my way out of the speeding ticket because I didn't even realize what I was doing. And the officer was very kind and, you know, realized I'd been working at the hospital and, you know, all of that. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I, I really could have hurt someone, you know, or myself. It was in a residential place and I was, all I could focus on was getting home. So um, I think those kinds of realizations make you really reevaluate you know, what, what am I capable of doing and what should I be doing? Those are two very different things. It's important for everyone to get sufficient sleep, but it is crucial for those in the nursing profession. Obtaining enough good quality sleep is one of the best strategies for maintaining your own health, as well as reducing the chance of patient care errors and vehicle crashes that could harm others. NIOSH's online work schedule training for nurses and accompanying documents offer many suggestions for nurses and their managers to stay healthy and to enhance their ability to provide excellent patient care around the clock. Remember, make sleep a top priority.